Hey, this is Matt, and we're off our couch here in Destin, Florida, on the Florida Panhandle. Thanks so much for meeting us back at James Lee Park, also sometimes called Crab Trap Beach, since Crab Trap Seafood and Oyster Bar is located here directly on the beach. We'll be at Crab Trap for lunch later in this video, but for now, we're having fun on the beach, and we've been thoroughly enjoying the clear, gorgeous waters here at James Lee Park, wading through the waters, jumping the waves, swimming in the shallows, and there's a large tidal pool, so we thought we'd have a seat which feels really relaxing until a wave came crashing on our backs and that was kind of cold and not very relaxing. <laughs> My son is really experimenting in the tidal pool. He's pushing his hands and feet through the sand and commenting about how much cooler it is within the sand. And he's right, it's really cool in here. It feels great. So this is our first family outing for the holiday, but London has already been out and about getting an early start at Donut Hole. We visited Donut Hall during our trip to Destin last year in 2020. The link to the video of that experience is in the description box, but we did not arrive early. It was actually our last stop before heading back home, so we didn't experience the variety of their donuts since they were pretty much sold out once we got there. London is on a mission now though and has been visiting his favorite donut spots across the state and creating his very own donut trail video with stops in Destin down to Miami. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell because he'll be taking you to some of his favorite donut spots like Parlor Donuts seen in the last video. The link to that video is in the description box and Donut Hole to stop for today. Donut Hole produces fresh baked donuts and there are two lines one for the donuts and one for seating so you can enjoy their popular breakfast lunch and dinner entrees and getting up early has been worth it check out this selection uh, we didn't see any of these before so london is picking a top seller vanilla angels which is buttercream filled a red velvet donut just looking at it makes me hungry that is one good looking donut an apple spice cream filled donut sounds delicious and a key lime filled donut, uh, which is really bitter in our opinion. So if you like the emphasis on the lime, then this donut will hit the spot. London's favorite is the apple spice cream filled and my favorite is the red velvet. They're good, we're standing in line for it and evidence why Donut Hole is a favorite among locals and tourists. Glad we finally got to try the donuts and looking forward to enjoying our breakfast someday soon too, which looks really good. Now, whenever you visit Destin, you may want to pick up a t-shirt, shell, some type of souvenir to remember your trip by, or you may need supplies for your trip during your stay. So we're stopping in at Alvin's Island to have a look around. So this is where you go to get your souvenirs, gifts, beach supplies, and beachwear. There are multiple locations here in Destin. Uh, we even saw an Alvin's Island outlet store, which I'm curious to browse and shop at one day. We've been asked previously about the types of souvenirs that are sold in beach shops, and we kind of buy the same things all the time. T-shirts, shot glasses, and maybe a beach towel. And these stores are so big and have so many different items, we thought we'd just walk around and show all the store has to offer. There is a lot to see in this store. Without an intention, if you just came in to browse, I can see someone just spending hours walking around. Uh, there's a lot of merchandise and beach supplies in this store. Uh, there's the unicorn floating my daughter always asks for when we see it on the beach. We now know where to come grab it when it's time. And I didn't know they sold t-shirts uh, other than vacation themed shirts. My son is grabbing this shirt uh, and we snapped a couple other items and we scored this beach bag too which will come in handy this summer. It's free with a $35 purchase. Okay, so getting back to vacation and holiday fun, since we have never been to Baytown Wharf and fireworks are planned for the evening, we're gonna head to Baytown Wharf now. We're entering the Sandestin Golf and Beach Resort and looking for parking. Entrance is free and there is a free parking garage. We had to do valet parking though because there were no spots in the self-serve parking area in the garage. The Village of Baytown Wharf hosts several free events throughout the year or two, besides the fireworks and Independence Day activities scheduled for tonight. And if there isn't an event going on at Baytown Wharf, there's still lots to do since there is a variety of boutiques, restaurants, galleries, and nightlife here. I feel a little overwhelmed to be honest because there's so much to do. I'm not sure where to start. Uh, should we shop first, try to eat at one of the restaurants? Uh, since it is getting dark, London thinks we should do the Baytown Adventure Zone first. 
because I made a proclamation that I was going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to face a fear and zip line. And everyone remembered, <laughs> no one forgot. London has all the attachments we need for the GoPro to take that up with me. So even though I'm experiencing cold feet right now, uh, looks like this is going to happen. The Baytown zip line is $20. And I mistakenly forgot to pack my shorts. Uh, I'm being honest, it really was a mistake. I forgot to pack them, but it doesn't matter. I'm wearing a skirt and I am still free to zip line. So ready or not, this is definitely happening. Uh, this is my first time zip lining, so I'm surprised to learn that we go as a group, which means as I sit here wearing a skirt and a harness looking kind of strange, I have time to question my choices. Too much time, a lot of time to listen to others sitting on the bench, talk about how nervous they are. A lot of first timers here with me. So after 20 minutes or so, just sitting and waiting and gazing 40 feet high at the zip line, it's time to head up these stairs. My stomach is churning. I know this is no big deal for many of you adventurous seekers, but I am nervous, not going to pretend. There are quite a few steps to climb and I thought I was gonna get a push at the top, uh, but no, I actually have to walk off the plank. A question I should have asked before I paid, or maybe not, because I'd probably not be walking up these steps now. So here's the plank, and I started walking off with my eyes closed, and I somehow mustered some additional strength and opened my eyes. And here is Baytown Wharf from 40 feet high. And the zip line is 300 feet across the lagoon. And surprisingly, it wasn't fast, so it was an experience. And it wasn't a quick few seconds of thrill experience at all. I could definitely take it all in as it was happening. And then once I was done, I have to stand here high up in the air on these steps waiting for my turn again. Uh, since I have to zip line back to where I started. Uh, still, I can't believe I walked off of that plank twice. And I can't believe you only have to be 30 pounds to do this. There was a little girl, maybe ounces over 30 pounds it seemed. And she was excited and bragging about how many times she's been zip lining already. I bet she has a huge future in front of her. Fear will not be holding her back and as I walk back down after surviving the zip line twice I consider it twice looking at that plank 40 feet high in the air and walking off of it is scary and doing it twice <laughs> anyways my point is I'm glad I did it once I was actually on the zip line it was lots of fun and it must have been meant to be because the announcement to shut the zip line down went out as soon as I finished my return run nothing's holding me back today nerves skirt the weather nothing <laughs> There's a lot of fun and adventure to choose here at Baytown Wharf. There's a dock that London briefly had the chance to look at while he was inquiring about wait times at Hammerhead's restaurant. And then the rain started to come down. So we snuck into Candy Maker and this isn't a big shop to begin with. And there's lots of people in here either shopping, hiding out from the rain or both. The line is through the store, so shopping is really a no-go. So we're heading out of the candy maker and the rain is really coming down hard now. Thank goodness I'm not on that zip line now, imagine that. While I was waiting the zip line, London went to a pop-up bar. We missed a name in the rush to get back to the zip line, but he picked up these shooters, lemon and rum shooters. So this is genius. Uh, we have shooters within shooters. <laughs> the rain is not raining our parade. Well, until we run out of ammo and the rain is still going strong. So that's the end of Baytown War for us, unfortunately. Definitely needs a redo. Uh, we're looking forward to going back one day and trying some more attractions, doing some shopping, definitely walking the dog. I'm doing all that Baytown Wharf has to offer. So later in the evening, once the rain died down, we were looking for something easy to grab for dinner, which landed us at Shake's Frozen Custard for hot dogs. Shake's Frozen Custard is known for their dessert, but we are here for a quick, good, and easy meal. We can grab them to go and then head back to the unit to finish packing uh, since we leave tomorrow morning. Nothing fancy for my daughter. She ordered a plain hot dog, uh, but the rest of us dressed our dogs up. London has a Chicago dog. This hot dog is loaded with mustard, tomato, onions, sweet relish, a dill pickle spear, sport pepper, and celery salt. Wow, that looks good. I have to take London's word for it that it is delicious because I have a Texas chili dog. That's mustard and coney style chili. I tell you, it is good. And these are all beef jumbo dogs too. So jumbo hot dogs means jumbo toppings too. 
Lastly, my son has the chili cheese dog, similar to the Texas chili dog, but with shredded cheddar cheese. I know that's good. And while we were on our deck enjoying our hot dogs, we could see and hear fireworks coming from the beach. Because if you've seen our first two videos from our Destin trip, you know that we are across the street from the shore at Crystal Beach Park. Both videos are listed in the description box and definitely check out the first video of our trip this year because we give a tour of the unit we're staying in that's so convenient to the beach. So just a three minute walk and we're watching these fireworks. There are two sets of fireworks going on in front of us as well as fireworks behind us. We thought once we were rained out at Baytown Wharf our chance to see fireworks was done but we're surrounded by fireworks and on the beach. Not a bad fireworks show at all and not a shabby way to end the evening either. So it's the next day, the last day, a rainy day too. Well, at least morning. And before we hit the road, we're stopping in at Crab Trap Seafood and Oyster Bar, just like we said we would. Crab Trap is located on James Lee Park Beach and we made plans to eat here the last time we visited the beach. The menu is fast and we like these type of menus with lots of choices to please almost everyone. And we're looking for a comfort food, something to warm us up because it's been raining hard all morning. We've been packing the car in the rain. Well, London has, let me throw that in before he corrects me. So something warm, savory and fulfilling would be nice. And I think we have our choices. For an appetizer, we're ordering the hot crab dip. It would be delicious still at any time, but I personally feel this is the perfect rainy day, but still sitting beachside type of food. We have fresh crab meat, cream cheese, fresh bacon, red peppers and green onions and these wonderful and tasty warm and toasty pita chips I love these chips and then a hot crab dip with the warm toasty chips <laughs> oh my it's hard to stop dipping and eating these chips my willpower is out at the beach <laughs> on to our main dishes continuing with warm savory choices we have a seafood gumbo I have a cup and London has a bowl. Check out the difference. The bowl looks two and a half, maybe three times bigger than the cup. And this is supposed to be a taste of Noya here in Destin. I see a good amount of Louisiana influence here at the restaurants, which makes sense since Destin is just four hours from New Orleans. The seafood gumbo is tasty and my son is enjoying his cheeseburger and the wiki sticks that come with the kids menu. Uh, the kids are coming up with some cool creations. And we also got mozzarella sticks, which are not shown because they went fast. They came out first and I left the table to go check out the gift shop while we were waiting for the food. And by the time I came back, the kids were halfway through a cheese pull competition. Obviously they loved them. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on and show you the gift shop where you can purchase Crab Trap theme shirts, tank tops, visors. I'm grabbing a Crab Trap shot glass for my collection. And it's not just Crab Trap merchandise though. There's also some fun stuff in here, toys and items you can use for the beach. Speaking of the beach, it stopped raining. We finished our great lunch and walked out to a beautiful day on James Lee Park. Uh, we're ending our stay in Destin right here, but just for now, because we already have plans to return the end of October. So if you like this video, definitely let us know and hit the like button. And please comment and let us know what you would like to see more of on our next trip. Uh, what new places or activities you're interested in seeing. If there's somewhere that you would like us to revisit and you'd like to see it from another angle, another perspective, let us know that too. Uh, we definitely want your feedback and suggestions because we're in the planning phase now and we'll be here for over a week next time. Um, this is our longest stay yet. So we'll be venturing over to Fort Walton Beach most likely, uh, maybe Seaside or Pensacola even. If there are other cities and beaches on the Emerald Coast that you want to see, uh, let us know that too please. Next week we're at SeaWorld Orlando and we'll be hanging out in Orlando for the next few videos. Thanks for being with us in Destin. Thanks for getting off the couch with us. Uh, we appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and comments. Until next week, click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.